20 years ago, right after graduating from medical school in China, I realized that the HIV epidemic is going to be the biggest challenge facing our generation. I felt that it is critical to understand how HIV causes diseases and how the human immune system can fight against HIV effectively. About five years before Dr. Yu came to join us, I had this really incredible uh, experience at Mass General Hospital where I was asked to see a patient who was HIV infected and said he'd been infected for more than 15 years, had never taken any medications, and was entirely well. When he first told me that, quite frankly, I, I actually didn't believe him, but in fact, it ended up being true. And for me, that was really a pivotal moment where I realized that not everybody with HIV infection was destined to die, but some people appeared to be able to control the infection on their own. And that really set out for us a quest to try and find out how in the world they were able to do that with the hope that we would be able to translate that information into helping other people control the infection naturally. Lisa and I were fascinated that there was this community of elite controllers that had a natural immunity. We were interested to fund a project like this because we realized that institutional funding really wasn't going to be available to fund what in effect was a venture project, um, but a venture project with huge upside in discovery. And so Lisa and I just wanted to fill that gap. With funding, we were able to put together a cohort of over 1,500 patients who were able to control the virus on their own. The black bars shown here show portions of the chromosome that contain genes, whereas the white bars are gene deserts that lack actively expressed genes. HIV causes incurable disease because the virus is able to insert its genetic material into the human genome and then persist there indefinitely. This integrated HIV within the human genome is what we call the HIV reservoir. Previously, it's been very difficult to map the location of replication-competent HIV within the human genome, but using a new, uh, highly sensitive, next-generation sequencing assay, we were able to do just that using cells from patients with natural control of the infection. And by using this technology, what we found is super surprising that in the controllers, HIV-1 integrated into the part of the human genomes that we call gene deserts. These regions are quite condensed and quiescent. And because integrated into these regions, HIV-1 cannot replicate themselves and then produce virions anymore. In these elite controllers, we saw a high frequency of HIV integrations in gene deserts in parts of the chromosome such as the centromeres, parts of the genome that are very uh, quiescent and not as conducive to viral expression and ultimately replication. So what this study um, is teaching us is that in elite controllers, the immune system appears to be able to eliminate HIV from all positions in the human genome where it can be actively expressed and where it can cause disease. And once that's been accomplished and um, HIV is eliminated from these very positions, a natural control of HIV and a functional cure seems to be possible. Amazingly, we even found one patient that the host immune system got rid of all the infectious virus from her body. It is remarkable that uh, in elite controllers, HIV can only be detected in parts of the human genome that are not active and where HIV is what we are calling blocked and locked. And, and we believe that's really a consequence of immune activity that has been eliminating HIV from all other positions in the human genome. And in a way, it brings up the question if um, those types of immune responses could be induced in, in larger numbers of persons who are living with HIV. And that's, I believe, is an area where exciting progress can be made in the future. Um, there are, for example, therapeutic vaccines that could be considered for this purpose. And it's going to be interesting to see if, for example, therapeutic vaccines can induce an integration site profile that then allows for a functional cure of HIV. For 28 years, I've lived with HIV. And with that comes kind of a fear that it will that it will kill you. And boom, here comes Dr. Yu's work and her amazing staff, all of you. And you basically drill down into the cellular machinery that suggests that I'm functionally cured from HIV. 
and the relief I feel is huge. Um, and my gratitude is just as large. So I'm relieved. Um, and also I'm very hopeful for everyone else that lives with HIV. Um, back in 2006, when we began this Elite Controller project, we had no idea that 15 years later, brilliant scientists like Xu Yu would still be using data that was aggregated from that original cohort and be able to make new discoveries. Lisa and I are so proud of our involvement and partnership at the Reagan. The Reagan is truly a center of excellence. This has truly been our most rewarding philanthropic contribution we've ever made. This provides us a blueprint for a functional cure of HIV. What we hope is to use the information gained in this study to learn how to teach the immune system of other patients to do the same thing so that it will not be necessary for them to continuously take HIV drugs.